Hi, my angels and devils, and all who may wonder here. It is Amanda Christina. Now, I can tell you exactly where I went wrong with this. Um, as you can see, I've got my little spot here. Now, this isn't the book going in this one, but it'll give you an idea. And do you know what I just realised? I'm going to see. I forgot to bring ribbon, so I will just have to use the string that I have here somewhere, I think. Um, okay, so. What you do is as you're putting each of these ones in, you need to make sure it is really flush to the drawer. Now these slide in and out fine without the tape on the edge. However, you do get a nice smoother pull. Um, you want these sort of pushed so that they sit together. Um, if you watched my last video, you will have seen they were a little bit further spaced apart, but you want that little spit, bit, little spit, that little bit at the top. Um, I, I, hopefully I'll be a little bit better at tutorials now because I've eaten something. Um, I ate my dumplings. Okay, so we want this to be one and a half. And I can't believe I forgot to bring ribbon with me. Just typical of the week I've been having. Hoping that tomorrow being Monday starts a much, much better week for me. One where I don't forget everything. Okay, so now we're just going to go one and a half, three, four and a half, six, seven and a half, nine, ten and a half. Now, this little extra bit doesn't, it doesn't matter that you have an extra bit. So you're just going to accordion fold this. Okay, and I did that. I measured that right. And for some reason today, I swear everything wants to be wonky as. I do not understand, but probably pays to have done that before I tried folding everything up. But basically, that is the little album. Now, what we're going to do is you're going to leave these two pieces unstuck, but we're going to put tape in these places to hold your album together. Now, if you wanted to, you could leave it as an accordion album like this. I kind of liked doing it as a little book. Um, it doesn't matter if you want to do an accordion al album, just do an accordion album. I just kind of like playing with it as a little book. Um, and also it makes sense for the way I do the cover. So again, just a couple of pieces of tape. This should be a lot quicker than the drawers because, yeah, I kind of screwed up the drawers as I was doing it. I apologise for that. Um, you know what? And the reason I'm putting, I'm uploading it and I'm not going to start again and do another set is because, honestly, mistakes happen in crafting. And I feel like sometimes we get so hung up on everything having to be perfect the first time that we forget, look, I, I, it took a little bit of work. It, it might be just a little bit bulgier than I wanted it in places, but it still ultimately worked in the out in the end. Um, it just took a little bit of work to go back, undo those pieces, and I should have been more, paying more attention. Um, yeah, lack of sleep and high heat all and not having eaten until I sort of took a break from filming did not help my my cause there so that's your little book so you've got this cute little book it slots into your spot here now let me see what if I have we're going to use what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a double thing of string because I don't have ribbon here so I like to make sure I have enough to do a bow. I mean, you can always trim it, but you if you don't have enough, then you're not going to, there's not going to be enough. Um, so I think we just want about that. So I am just going to trim that bit there. Move. This is doodlebug twine, but honestly, you can get twine so many places now, and it's so much, it's so cheap that I mean, I love the doodle, doodle twine, but I don't think it's any different to most bakers' twines that you get online and stuff. So, what we're going to do now is take a thin piece of tape and run it along our covers. So, these individual pieces are your cover pieces, 
and you will see soon why it does not matter. And then we're just going to make sure the tape goes in there because what we're going to end up doing is creating our own cover piece that covers this whole mishmash. I was just trying to make sure it... Okay. So what you're going to do is take this off. Now, if you had ribbon, you use ribbon and you use a piece of tape that fits with the ribbon. I don't happen to have ribbon right now, so I am improvising. And you know what? That is the good thing about crafting is sometimes you may not have exactly the right thing. Sometimes you improvise and sometimes it ends up looking better. So now we've got our little, we can do that up. So the reason for that is that we can pull it out of the drawer. The, um, yeah, the drawers. Okay. So now we're going to grab some, what's left of my dead and breakfast, which we all know is not very much. And we're going to grab a, you know what? Let's use this, let's use a piece that's already, yeah. So we want one and a half. And I'm just going to do, if you heard that, you'll know that will just one and a half. So we just want to score that at, um, there and then we just want to go to three. I think it might be three and a quarter. We'll just do three. It should be okay. And then we're just going to tape this around our little book like this. Okay, we'll do that again because, yes, I did need a little extra. That's okay. So we go one and a half. What do we want to do? Let's do three and a half. And actually, do one and a half. Yeah, let's just do that and see how that works. And I can crop anything extra off. Where'd my little book go? I had a book. Yep. Okay. So we have this little bit here, which I am just going to trim off by hand after I've stuck this all down. So what we're going to do is spread this out. Grab the express it tape because we because this is paper to paper. Okay, you've got your string. And what I do for the back cover is I just instead of doing a mounting piece, I actually cover that whole back piece in another piece of cardstock. Just it I think it it helps with the illusion of it being even. And it means that you don't, I mean, if you wanted to, if you're sort of a stickler, you could cut that off and have that as your back page. I don't see the point. I would rather just turn it into something because then you've just got this odd off cut that you're not going to use anyway. Okay. So we flatten that out. We grab this is our little, okay. Now this is, because it's, that's, hang on. Yeah. Okay, so I want that there and that to be, let's see, it may not be completely exactly right, like I did, I probably did a bit more of the, okay, okay, there we go. Whoops, but that's a little wonky, so I'm just going to pull that up gently and just fix that so it's not a wonky piece. There we go. Just burnish that on there to make it. And you've basically just made a mini book is, is what you have done. Um, super easy, no hardships. Just be very careful when you're trimming this little bit not to cut your string or your ribbon. So then you just do it up. And decorate it how you want. Now, how I'm not going to go through and do each page, but what I will do is do one of these so that you can see how I disguise the little back bit that isn't quite how it should be. 
honestly, this is super simple, super quick. Um, yeah, like 10 minutes and that's me talking through how to do it mostly <laughs> um, and explaining to you how I actually fudged up the last tutorial. So then you just disguise this last little bit by and then you just decorate how you want with stickers and stuff and there it is and then we, once you're done you do it up now you make sure you don't do it too too big like you don't want to add anything too bulky to this um foam stickers and stuff are fine but you really don't want to add anything that is too too bulky and then we just do it up into a little bow And the thing is, if you didn't want to do this like for this, you could use this little mini book for other things. It's just, it's the same principle. If you're doing two inches or bigger ones, you can do bigger ones. You can sort of, um, um, you can tape them together with that little bit. And there you go. See, that just fits in the end there. And you've got this really cute embellishment box. Um, it is such a nice little one for happy mail too. Um, you can fit a lot in here like you can fit there, there's a fair bit of room in your drawers to fit die cuts they're a fairly nice deep drawer um, you can fit die cuts you can fit um, a whole lot of mini books and what I thought I would do is use these tutorials and do an advent calendar next month or for vlogmas anyway I hope you enjoyed this tutorial let me know below what you think um, as always if you have any questions comments or whatever leave them below like subscribe have an amazing magical day remember that you are incredible you are amazing and most importantly of all you truly do matter I love each and every one of you thanks for being here bye